All right, guys, we're checking out a sick gym in Toronto, Pure Fitness. We're about to do a big workout, but first of all, I gotta see my injury guy, Eric. He's gotta tune me up. My, my neck's all jacked up. My, I overextended my right right shoulder, my right elbow, wrestling with my dog. He got me good. So we're about to get tuned up, and then we're gonna hit a crazy workout. I already had a scoop of Octane, some Nitro, we're ready to rock and roll. We're in the Turbo S, my man Lucas over here. We had a, hey, we had a good poker game last night. Yeah, we did, we did. We famoosed the goose. You famoosed the goose. I famoosed the goose. We Big hand. You wanna show him? We're all in right now. Yeah, I got jack shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh enough. my, oh. holy shit! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Jesus, the fucking luck. We tied first place, so. Made some good cash. All right, here we go. We're at the Pure Fitness Gym. Eric's about to tune me up. What's up, Eric? Whoa. <laughs> um, so I had a bad sleep. I tweaked my neck. It hurts a lot. Feels a little bit better from a couple days ago. Yeah. And I was playing with my dog, and I just hyperextended my arm. Oh, yeah. A bit. My yeah. right arm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Other, it's just that the neck and the right arm. Okay. Cool. Ready to go? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we're hitting the workout. We're doing a new machine today. We're trying out this uh, little incline machine. I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if we can get up to Lucas. How much we can get up to three and a half plates on the incline <laughs> machine. We're gonna go for it. All right, so I've done about three or four build-up sets. Now we're going for my heavy set, three plates and a quarter. So this is some serious weight. So we're going for about five to six reps here. Now, I will say that this is a really fun exercise for me to do. I've just done so much heavy incline barbell, heavy incline dumbbell. I really, really enjoy mixing it up with this machine. I have a little bit of a tweaked neck, so the machine is a bit of a safer bet than doing heavy dumbbells, for example. Now, I did a second set with three plates for eight. Now we're doing my final set with two and a quarter for you know about eight to ten reps repping it out getting an awesome awesome chest pump so i actually really like coming to this pure fitness gym uh in burlington uh because they got some really cool machines to to test out and i recommend building up some sick strength with you know free weights but then at a certain level when you're in your 30s your 40s it can be fun to just kind of hit the machines a little bit more and now I'm doing one more machine, more of a flat press with a nice stretch just to do one or two extra sets for the chest, get a bit more volume in. So this machine is pretty good. It's a little bit too deep. You know, if you go too deep, it can be rough on the shoulder. So I didn't love it, but I like how the handles kind of come together as you push, get a little bit of that adduction to really bring in more chest. So it's a pretty cool machine. Just got to be careful on the shoulder going that deep, especially when you put it back into place. So I did one set there and I found it pretty light. So I'm going close to the full stack here for, you know, another 10 reps. So just two sets here on the chest to get the chest pumping. But great energy in this gym. It's fun to go to new gyms. There's a great energy. Um, so I actually really enjoyed it. Some cool people I actually bumped into the man, Jeff Nippert, he was working out right beside me. He said hello, so we chatted for a little bit. First time I met him in the flesh. Um, now we're doing some bicep curls. And he was, apparently he had a video recently about, uh, you know, minimalism. I was talking about my two days a week. And he's like, bro, it fucking, it, it is legit, it works. So I kind of share a little bit of my routine, what I'm doing. Um, but now this was a very heavy weight. I went a bit heavy. So that was my top set. I'm gonna work down, but that was a really heavy weight. So we're gonna go a bit lighter. And dude, this machine feels awesome. You can actually angle it to get a more vertical position, which I actually kind of like the vertical position as opposed to having the, the padding horizontal. So really good angle on this, on this machine. So I'm gonna about do about four sets here. And oh man, the, the veins are pumped. I've been on that Kino Nitro, that new supplement I launched, which is awesome for skin health, for blood flow, for sex. But the pumps, the veins on it, just nuts. The pine bark extract, the grapeseed extract, the vitamin C, the garlic, the niacin, and the, of course, the arugula extract is just insane for blood flow. So pretty damn powerful stacking that with octane. 
And again, this is my last set. I'm just getting a little bit of top squeezes. And at this point, dude, my biceps were fried. The older I get, the stronger I've become, the more I start to like enjoy doing the machines. It's just, it's just a bit less taxing on the body. So this is another cool machine. Um, I don't really like most tricep machines, but this one is awesome. It produces a killer stretch and it's pretty damn hard. I got like, what, a 45 and a 25 each side. This is freaking tough, man. Um, so really hard. Your triceps are the second biggest muscle group in your upper body. So it's good to really get those triceps strong. So I'm just hitting about two or three sets of 10 to 12 on the tricep. I find that just, you know, two or three sets is really all that it takes, man, on an exercise. Even two hard sets. If you focus, you push hard, that is extremely powerful. And again, when I train with the low volume setup, there's a mindset that I'm tapping into. A lot of times on the heavy lifts, I will visualize myself doing it. I will go in with absolute certainty. I'm going to hit it. I'm a beast. I'm an animal. A lot of people walk into their sets like with negative self-talk. Oh, I hope I get this rep. I hope I am able to lift this weight. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, it's going to be heavy. That is hurting your ability. Throughout years, I formed the right mental state going into each heavy set so I conquer it. There's a massive mental component. Now, unfortunately, now we're hitting the rear delt. So we did the chest, the buys, the tries doing the rear delts, good to keep the shoulders healthy, but I actually tweaked my neck. Just the position was not good for my neck. So that entire therapy session that helped my neck got fucked up here, but I already tweaked it. So I'm going to keep doing it. I might as well. I already fucked it up. I might as well just finish the rest pause set. So I'm doing about what? 15 reps plus a few sets of five to really get the shoulders going. And you can tell right now, I'm 180, 180, 181. I was usually around 176, 177 the last few months. I'm thicker. I'm feeling bigger. I am like, shit, I look thick with the pump, with a few extra pounds. I know I'm on the mojo. I know my free testosterone is up big time. So I'm actually like, shit, I don't know if I've been this big, this lean, this veiny at 180, 181. So I'm actually quite happy. I, uh, yeah, I'm talking about my neck there. The tweak, man, the tweak, unfortunately. But I don't know if I've actually been this sharp at 180 before. So I'm actually pretty damn happy. I might not be lifting quite as heavy as I have in the past on incline and barbell. It's just, I don't know, man. I've been lifting since I was 13. My strength really peaked on some movements at like one, one, uh, you know, when I was 8, 28, 29. So now I'm just trying to like milk out, have fun, lift two days a week, and just kind of keep the, the strength around the same and just have fun with it. So... I like to do a little bit of legs on my upper body days. I'm only training twice a week. So today I'm doing a bit of leg extensions, three, four sets, and then I'm going to finish off a little bit of calf raises. So normally I do something different, but because my neck's tweaked, the leg extension felt like the safest bet. Uh, and I, I do, I, I got to be honest, like my glutes, my hamstrings are, are really, really strong, well-developed from Nordic curls. My quads are lacking. So I got to, there's one thing I need to build. It's definitely the quads and the calves. Um, these are definitely some stubborn areas for me, but I haven't put in enough work to really maximize them. So there's one thing I might focus on. It's the quads and calves, but my genetics, like I have very small bones in my knees and most of the bulk is up in the upper thigh. So it's kind of hard to really get that same look that other people have that have like that, that size near the knee. So like my legs can get really strong, but they look a bit smaller near the knee. That's just my genetics. All right, that was a huge workout. About to have the mojo. We're gonna up it to four caps today. And then we got some serious Chipotle bowl. So we'll see if Chipotle is on point today. Four capping it today. Lucas, you wanna up the mojo? You wanna up your mojo, bro? You need to two cap it or three cap it? I think I'm a four cap it. You gotta four cap it, bro. You gotta get that extra Tonga to Lee in there. Yeah. The credit or credits do that they got some good steak portions today. I think they did a good job, right? They, they did, yeah. You got a nice portion here. I got extra steak in case. I got a good bowl. Dude, we got some serious extra steak. So we're set. They're on point. And we got the nice, the nice sauce. This stuff's awesome. The Chipotle time. That's good today, man. Chipotle redeemed themselves with this new, this new goji steak. What's it called? Goji steak? And garlic something. Garlic, garlic or something like that. The goji steak, man. <laughs>
Oh, this is fucking amazing. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was actually a killer workout. My triceps are still sore, and that was three days ago. That tricep machine was freaking awesome. So if you wanna mix it up with machines, that's an awesome workout you can do. I've done so much heavy incline presses, barbell and dumbbell. It's nice to get stronger on a new exercise like that incline machine. So really cool stuff. Now with that said, I built my body off free weights and one advantage with free weights over machines based on the research is that you get a higher increase in free testosterone. So I always make the free weight training the bulk of my training, but here and there I'll incorporate some machines or do a machine workout. So it's good to have these extra options in your arsenal. Now with that said, my latest supplement has launched the nitro. Now I've been playing around with the ingredients in here for months and months. And one of my favorite ingredients in here is pine bark extract and grapeseed extract. It's amazing at improving vascular health, amazing for blood flow. Okay, you're gonna notice more pumps in the gym, but also with the girl in the bedroom, you see a much bigger difference, pun intended. Um, so I actually, it's a great supplement that's gonna benefit you in the gym, the bedroom and the skin health. So really, really fun supplement to take. That's the Keno Nitro. Now we launched this. And I thought I was going to do pretty well, but it's been going crazy. So if you want to try this before we sell out, try the Nitro. I freaking love this stuff. It's got the pine bark extract, grapeseed extract, vitamin C, garlic extract, niacin, and arugula extract. So the blood flow you get on it is frankly insane. If you stack it with octane, with the L-citrulline, it's like another level. Um, but definitely try the Nitro. It's awesome. Like I've noticed my skin has really cleared up taking the Keno Nitro. So the, actually, the pine bark extract actually increases hyaluronic acid and collagen production in the skin. So it gives your skin a clearer, more youthful look. So that's all I want to say. Try the nitro. And if you're a single guy, it's good to have the nitro, you know, just there if you want to have that extra blood flow. It's a nice little insurance policy. Either way, guys, I will see you soon. Take care.